hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to download and clip a cloud filtered sentinel 2a imagery for any district in world using global administrative data so now let's get started so you can able to visualize we have uh, managed to download the this particular district which is located in uh, tamil nadu this district name is called as Thani. i can able to what uh, cloud filter and download the internal entire uh, the sentinel image for this entire district using google earth engine so now let's get started so uh, importing and setting up the data so first we defined a variable called admin2 equals to double e dot feature collection so uh, this is the code which uh, insert our global administrative boundary layer into earth engine so let me show you that so we're gonna navigate to the store tab so this is uh, the global administrative unit layer 2015 the second level administrative uh, data set so the data set availability is from 2014, December 19. So the data set provider. So to access the set of code, we're going to use this specific uh, code here. So the global administrative unit layer compiles and uh, disseminates the best available information or administrative unit for all countries in the world, providing a contribution to a standardization of spatial data set representing the administrative unit. So this particular uh, data set uh, maintains a global level, uh, global uh, layers with a unified coding system at the country first example department and the second ad administrative level is example district where the data is available it provides the layers on the country by country basis down to a third fourth and lower la levels so using this uh, administrative boundary layer we're gonna we're gonna download and clip a sentinel to a imagery for any district in the world as well as in india so for that we define this variable called admin2 equals to double e dot feature collection and simplified 500 meter 2015 level 2 and uh, next to add our uh, sentinel 2a imagery into earth engine we defined a variable called s2 represents the sentinel 2a image equals to double e dot image collection copernicus s2 uh, harmonized and uh, next we're gonna filtering with a specific administrative boundary for example this specific study area, this district name is called as Thani. So we define this uh, variable called selected equals to admin uh, admin two dot filter double dot filter dot eq ad uh, m two name rep uh, Thani here represents the represents the field district field district name. So this is the field uh, which contains our district names. So we can mention a different district name to uh, to access and visualize those uh, district name. Um, and clipping the with sentinel to a imagery so for now we have defined here as a Thani district so let me uh, type another district here so now I have entered as another district called Chennai we're gonna run this so now we're gonna visualize it so here you can able to uh, see the layers getting loaded here so this is the Chennai district So in this way, you can type the any district of your choice here, the name of your district here, and you can uh, filter, and you can download your Sentinel 2A imagery. So uh, next, we defining the geometry. So we defined a variable called geometry equals to selected jo dot geometry. So the geometry here represents uh, this particular district here, and next uh, to center this layer, we define map dot center object geometry. So we set a visualization parameter for our Sentinel 2A imagery. So we defined a variable called RGB this equals to we set a minimum value of zero and to a maximum value of three thousand. The bands uh, we're gonna use is band four, band three, and band two, which represents the true color composite in Sentinel 2A imagery. So in this order, which represents the true color composite. So next we're gonna filter the Sentinel 2A imagery. So for that we defined a variable called filter equals to s2 dot filter double dot filter less than cloud pixel percentage less than 30 and with a specific time period dot filter double dot filter dot date 2019 january 1 2020 january 1 and we're gonna filter with our study area so for that we define dot filter double dot filter dot bound geometry represents of our study area and next creating a median uh, composite so for that we defined a variable called image equals to filter dot median so in order to acquire a median image from this uh, specific timeline from 2019 january 1 to 2020 january 1 so for that we use this particular function median so next we're gonna clip clipping our sentinel to a imagery using our study area boundary we're gonna clip our sentinel to a imagery for that we defined a variable called clipped equals to 
image refers to a sentinel to a imagery dot clip geometry refers to our study area clip is a function so the next uh, we're gonna add the image to our map so for that we define map dot add layer clipped so clipped represent this particular variable here and uh, this is a visualization parameter RGB which represents the visualization parameter in true color composite and output the layer name as clipped and now to export this image to your Google Drive we specifically define this function export to drive so export dot image dot to drive image so image dot in 16 description sentinel to a imagery Chennai and the spatial resolution of this particular image is 10 meter so band 3 band 4 band 3 and band 2 is of uh, 10 meter resolution so the region uh, is the clipped so this is the thing we're gonna export and the max pixel level is 1 is to 10 power 13 so now we're gonna run this code uh, we're gonna navigate uh, to this option called run click run so once you did that uh, the image pops up here you can able to see the district called Chennai and also in the task section click this option here so in the task section uh, there is an option called uh, unsubmitted task so sentinel uh, image Chennai so to export the sentinel to a image to your Google Drive so we to click this option called run so now a new window pops up saying initiate an image export so this is a task name sentinel MZ let me uh, reduce this to this sentinel to Chennai 1 and uh, now the coordinate reference system is EPSG and the spatial resolution is 10 and we're going to export to uh, you can export to, to, to your drive or your cloud storage or to a earth engine assets so now I'm going to export to my drive here so I've uh, selected my drive so once you selected your drive so and uh, make sure that your file format is in GeoTIFF and click this option called run so once you did that uh, there is a ta unsubmitted task here so, so it's currently running so it will take around uh, two to three minutes to export your sentinel to AMH to your google drive so once it's uh, done exporting our sentinel to AMH to our google drive so we're going to download it and we're going to visualize in uh, in a gis software so now here in the task section you can able to visualize our sentinel uh, to a image has been exported to our google drive here so it took around five minutes to export our central to image for this district uh, into our uh, drive so now uh, let me click this option called open and drive so here you can able to visualize the uh, sentinel 2 a chennai dot if so we're gonna click this option and uh, click this option called download and now navigate to the folder location where you could like to save your sentinel to a image for chennai district so I'm uh, gonna save uh, the Sentinel to AMH for Sentinel Chennai District in this folder. Click save. So now it is downloaded 93.4 MB. So now we're gonna open this uh, image in uh, ArcMap. So uh, let me navigate to ArcMap. ArcMap interface. Now we're gonna add my Sentinel to AMH. So click this option called Add Data. Click this option called Add Data. So navigate to the folder location where you have uh, downloaded your Sentinel 2A image. I will click this Sentinel Chennai and I click this option called Add. So it's going to build the pyramid here. So it's going to take some time. So now this is our Sentinel 2A image. We are downloaded using our Earth Engine. So navigate to this layer and right click and navigate to the option called Properties. And now in that we're going to change our uh, stretch type. And again back to RGB composite and in the stretch type we're gonna select uh, to be standard deviation and uh, do you want to compute statistics yes so it's gonna compute the statistics so now it has computed the statistics we're gonna apply and click OK so now the image appears here you can able to see that so let me uh, right click on this layer again go to the properties and make sure that you change your uh, bands here I will change the bands to band 4 and band 3 and band 2 which is a true color composite so I'm gonna click apply and click OK so again it appears like this so let me change to a standard deviation yes so we are each time we're gonna change the band here to compute your standard deviation 
So now here you can able to see that we have arranged fan 4, 3 and 2. Make sure that you select the stretch type to be standard deviation. And now let me click apply. And click OK. So now here you can able to visualize our satellite image that is our central 2A image for this district called Chennai as a true color composite. You can able to see that. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, download and uh, clip the cloud filter sentinel 2a imagery for any district in world using the global administrative data so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like